respected in his time, and because of his student, Bruce Lee, he became a legend. In many of his interviews, Bruce Lee spoke about his master and the inspiration he learned from the man who trained him. I'm a big fan of Bruce Lee, and naturally I'm very interested in the story of his master. I grew up on the street full of martial arts school. But parents those days never encouraged kids to learn Kung Fu because many of the school was associated with triads. In the Grandmaster, there's a scene in which there's a kid standing in front of the school of Yip Man. He was fascinated by what he saw. That kid could be Bruce Lee or it could be me. I was always curious about the mystery behind that door. What's so great about Chinese martial arts? Because of Grandmaster, I finally walked through this door. It was my first time to work with Yuan Ku Ping. We call him Pa Ye, which means Uncle Aids, because he's a senior. He's very supportive and funny. When I first told him I want all the action scenes in this film to be authentic and should be performed by the actor himself, he looked at me with a smile. Not until he rehearsed with Tony and Ji Yi, he realized I'm serious. For Bai Ye, to design the action scenes of this film is kind of nostalgic. In a way, Grandmaster is a tribute to the Hong Kong Kung Fu cinema, and he's part of this history. We spent two years together, and I noticed something. When he's doing rehearsal, he's a different person. He has the air of a grandmaster. Normally, Baye is very shy. At the end of the shoot, I need someone to play the master of Yip Man. And I managed to convince him, but I have to promise him that there shouldn't be more than three takes for each shot. 